mental time experience is a unique, specific sensation of time that coexists with the physical experience of time. To summarize the physical time experience, it is simply physical matter and energy changing in a linear, flipbook-like manner. The mental time experience is the ability to comprehend that the physical matter and energy is changing at all. It is the continuity factor that allows you to experience physical change in a logical progression of life story. The mental time experience determines what quality of change you perceive as the physical world changes. To use a flipbook analogy again, the physical time experience is the flipbook flipping pages so fast that it seems to be an animation and not a flipbook, with most of the pages flipping by too fast for your nervous system to identify them as individual pages. The mental time experience is the quality of how you only notice certain pages as the flipbook flips. The mental time experience cannot be quantified using matter and physical energy because it's a non-physical phenomenon. We're not talking about neural oscillation. We're talking about mental oscillation. What is being described is a feeling recognition of where and how you exist relative to the physical world constantly changing. The mental time experience is an oscillation of thought, subconscious thought. It is the kind of automatic, almost involuntary thought you are using to breathe. It's the kind of thought musicians use when playing complex pieces of music with both hands while singing. It is the incessant background thinking about your past and probable future, which gives context to how and why your physical reality is changing as it does. This time experience is what allows you to guess and gauge what may happen immediately next in your reality, like when using your reflexes to position yourself in the correct manner to catch a falling object. There are various substances that elucidate the nature of mental time experience. When people get high, they are heightening the frequency of their mental time experience, hence the term mind-altering substance. Technically, all substances, including food and drink, that you put in your body and go into your bloodstream are mind-altering because your mind coexists with your body. One of the reasons doctors label substances mind-altering, however, is because the substance significantly alters your sensation of time. A very powerful example is marijuana. To clarify, this is not advocating marijuana use. Hemp is legal and extremely healthy, but hemp in the form of marijuana is illegal in many places around the world and can land you in jail. The fact that marijuana does what it does isn't even the issue. The issue is that this is a perfect example of what mental time experience is and how a drastic alteration of it can seriously affect people. When people use marijuana, the natural hallucination of time is still there, but it is altered in a way that shows you a less dramatic version of its illusionary nature. The reason why you can't get rid of the time illusion is because you need it to have any human experience at all. And although the frequency of your mental time experience can become drastically higher, it is still much, much, much slower than the physical rate of change that is Planck time to Planck time. To perceive the same rate of mental time experience as physical time experience would mean having the capacity to recognize that one Planck time worth of change has occurred and is occurring. The rate at which your physical universe changes is not being altered. What is being altered is your mental perception of that constant change. The speed of light is still defining your physical time experience. The main experience people have while high is a result of your beliefs in your mental time experience. So when you alter your mental time experience, your beliefs, general thought process, and how you approach life are brought to your attention because the volumes that are the past and the future are no longer as perceivable. It forces you to stop projecting into the past and future as much and leaves you more stranded in the moment. 
This is why some people report feeling extremely paranoid, while others will feel like life is a kind of enchanted movie dream. The paranoia stems from the drastic alteration in mental time experience, wherein if you have a controlling fear-based mindset, having less of an experience of past and future reveals to you just how out of control you actually are. You don't know what's going to happen next, and you never will. All you have are conscious imaginings of what you have experienced in the past and what you might experience in the future. In the passive, automatic mental time experience of this just happened, this might happen. This just happened, this might happen. This just happened, this might happen. This sudden shift in mental time experience removes the facade of you thinking you know exactly what's going on in your reality. And if you are a person that simply cannot accept that your ego isn't really in charge of your life, or if you are someone who is easily scared, you might even think you are dying. Because your ego sense of feeling in charge and having everything relatively predictable and under its control is dead. That's what a high frequency time experience can do to a persona born out of a low frequency. A persona with a fight or flight kind of mindset. Long story short, if you are crazy, when you are mentally brought towards the one moment you exist, it will enhance your craziness. There's no longer a huge place for you to not pay attention to it, and you will have to face that madness as an act of facing yourself. Remember, it's all an experience of you. It's your time experience of yourself. Another good example of drastically altering your mental time experience is alcohol consumption. Alcohol slows your mental time experience down. This isn't bad or good. It can be experienced as either or neither. What's being mentioned is the slowing down of the rate of absorbing contextual information about how and why the physical world is changing how it is. With all that said, alcohol and marijuana do way more to you than just change your mental time experience. For instance, alcohol specifically dehydrates your body. Alcohol can make you thirsty and marijuana can make you hungry. Those are completely separate and different effects than changing your time experience. So again, what's being explained is not about the substance, it's about recognizing that although mental time perception is non-physical, it is still a real concrete experience of observing reality. You are the universe.